Okay, I'll show how you uh, copy games to an external with Freestyle Dash. So basically, um, plug it in any front port, your hard drive. I'll put a terabyte in here just to show you. <clears throat> so basically what you're going to do now, we'll take any game, I'll show you. Grant that auto, we'll put it in. Don't close the door. What we'll do is first of all in setup. <coughs> okay, go to content setting. <clears throat> go down to manage game pass. Okay, click that. Okay. Now what we want to do is add. Okay, so for 360 games. Make sure you check mark Xbox 360. Second side, Xbox 360. Scan depth, I always put it around three. So make it three. Go over to change path. Now you should see in here USB. Which is your external drive. So go to USB. Okay. And then we're also telling you to make your pass. So one here I already did 360 XEX. Click that, click select directory Y, and then save. Now that path is saved in there. Okay, so now go back. If you want to copy a game, go back, go back, go to DVD extract. Click OK. I inserted the disk, but I didn't close the door. So now when you click OK, it's going to draw it in. <coughs> it's going to read the disc. Okay, there's Grand Theft Auto 4. Now we go up to change path. See, it says hard drive 1, 360 XEX. We don't want that. Now we want USB 360 XEX. I already have a game in there, but that's fine. So just the root of the folder, select directory, hit Y, boom. Now it's selected as USB 360 XEX, down to copy, start copy. Now I actually stopped the game. I didn't finish copying the game, but once the game is done, it'll say 100%, 100%. So now what we do is we go back. Go up to setup again, click setup, go to content, okay. go down to scan settings, make sure it's disable auto scanning at startup, cover downloading, enable custom cover downloading, you have to do that each time, I don't know why it uncheck marks itself. Then go down to scan settings again, then hit start manual scan. Boom, when you hit that, you'll see the idle change, and now it's scanning the contents on the USB drive. Then you'll have to wait for a little bit for it to scan all the folders to basically slipstream all the games into your, <clears throat> in your folders. Now with the external, once you do that scan, and it scans through and eventually it'll get to the USB drive, then you'll actually see your game show up in here under 360 games and it's the same even with Xbox One games like the Xbox classics when you copy them just make sure you select the directory Xbox One when you're copying those games so I'll, I'll go through that one with you too so setup boom just make sure you go down to content again Click content, remember how it's showing you to add the folders. So you go manage game pass, go over here, add a folder. I don't have the folder in here, but you, you do the same thing. So for Xbox One, click Xbox Classic. The right side, Xbox Classic. Scan depth, three, down, over, up, change path, and again, you go to your USB 0, 
and then over here you'd have your uh, folder called Xbox One. You click that one. I don't have one in here. I don't think. So I'll just use this as a reference, this one here. So you would click this. Okay, now you're in the root of the folder. Select directory. And then X save. I'm not going to save this folder though. I don't need that one. But that's how you do the Xbox One as well. And then again, when you go over to DVD extract, if you're going to copy a DVD to it, you click DVD extract. Okay, well, it's already set as USB 0 360 XEX. You would just change that folder to Xbox One if you're copying Xbox One games. And wait for the game to show up here. And boom, start copying. And that's it.